I had the pleasure of giving neurology grand rounds on Wednesday, August 19th, on the neurologic complications of obesity. Uh, the story is very interesting. Between 1960 and now, the food size portions have increased by three to four fold. For example, a typical hamburger used to be 120 calories in terms of size, and now it's approximately 600 calories. So with that increase in food size and kind of the density of the food that we've been eating, we've become an overweight country. So 60% of Americans are either obese or overweight, and that number unfortunately appears to be increasing. And that's coupled with the fact that our lifestyles become much more sedentary. In the 60s and even the 70s, we would walk and be outside more. And now we're really mainly at our computer. We're Zooming a lot and we're much, much less active than we were as a nation. And so what are the consequences of this? Well, I've already told you that we as a nation are overweight, but what does that mean neurologically? And so what I discussed was the following. What we now know is that if you are overweight and obese, it kind of, it perpetuates more overeating. So when you overeat, what occurs is the fatty acids and the fats in your blood actually cause inflammation in the part of your brain that allows you to feel full so that you never really feel full. So overeating begets overeating, which is a main, you know, a main issue for individuals and something that we need to grapple with and people need to understand. Secondly, what we now know neurologically is that just being overweight in and of itself injures your nerves in your hands and your feet. We used to believe that you had to have diabetes to have this injury occur, but now we know just being overweight uh, causes nerve injury known as neuropathy in your hands and feet. We also know if you're diabetic, it's actually how much overweight you are and how high your lipids are and what your blood pressure is like that's more likely to drive nerve injury in the feet, again, diabetic neuropathy than your blood sugar alone. And finally, and I think something that we're very interested in to continuing to pursue and understand on a research level is that being overweight affects your ability to think so that there's clear cognitive decline secondary to being overweight or obese. And actually an elevated midlife, uh, what's called BMI, body mass index, that's being overweight or obese, clearly portends significant cognitive decline later in life and frank Alzheimer's disease. So please go to the web uh, and see the full lecture if you so desire, but it's a little long. Rather than do that, think about eating well, uh, eating less, uh, exercising, and continuing to uh, follow our research because we're very interested in these issues. Thank you so much.